Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl from Lovely Looks, and this is a Halloween tutorial. Uh, in case you didn't notice, I took inspiration from Mary Shelley's Frankenstein's Monster. You could totally spin this and do a couple costume and do this as Frankenstein's Monster's bride. It's super fun, very colourful. I will warn you, it is very product heavy and it is a very time consuming look. I had a vague idea of what I wanted to do going into this video. I knew I wanted to split it from my hairline. I definitely knew I wanted turquoise. I definitely knew that I wanted this lip colour. But apart from that, I didn't really know what else I was going to do. So I hope you guys can appreciate the awesomeness for what it is. This is my second video in my Halloween videos of this year. If you have not seen my first video, I will link it down below. So, no more talking, we will get stuck straight into the tutorial and in a moment, I will look completely normal. So, I want to draw a line from my part here, probably along my actual scar, through here. And then I'm going to do... I don't know if I want to do a line across here, so that way I've got more cheek to work with. And I definitely want this area turquoise, I want turquoise lips definitely. But I'm trying to decide whether I want like purple along here, and then another colour, maybe like orange along here, or like orangey red. Mix my colours, I'm going to be taking Marc Jacobs foundation. I'm taking a bit of Utopia by Lime Crime which is a liquid lipstick and I'm just going to use this to actually add some colour to this. Then I'm going to add some Lime Crime liquid liner just to cool this tone down a little. And I'm just going to take a small brush that I don't really care about and just mix it all together. So I'm just going to take more of that Marc Jacobs foundation and this is Swadeberry by Lime Crime. Just put this. So this isn't as opaque as I'd like so I'm going to go in with a second layer. I'm just going to take what I can that's left of that through the hair to sort of make it look like it's melding in. I'm leaving a small square of each colour so that if I need to mix any more I know what colour it's meant to look like. I'm just going to mix this in with the shade Peacock because I want a turquoise. really making my teeth look yellow. Then I'm just going to set it with a loose setting power. Next I'm just going to take a spoolie and go through the brows, just get them in the right direction. Be careful not to take that product off. We're going old school. This is the Lime Crime Original Palettes. They just celebrated their like what? 10 year, 15 year anniversary, something like that. So I'm gonna go in with Royal Flush and Ribbonesque and pop that on the lid. Then I'm going in with Macaroon on the other side. Next, I'm going in with the Electric Palette by Urban Decay and a Spectrum B03 brush, and I'm just going to start creating some dimension. I'm just gonna go into the shade Slow Burn and take that through the crease. And I'm taking that right up into the corner of the brow, right in that inner corner. And then I'm going to go into Jilted and Urban and go on the other side. You're going to be using the same brush. Make sure that you clean it before you use the next colour. Next, I'm going into the Mavita Loca palette. Then I'm going to go into the shade Anthem, which is one of my favorites. And I'm going in with the Spectrum B04 brush, which is like a small angle blending brush. Just 
just gonna get my powder brush and try and get rid of that fallout. I'm also going to smoke that under the eye. On the left side, I'm gonna go in with Destroyer, which is like a burnt orange shade. So place the color and then diffuse it out. Next we're going in with a larger angle brush, this is Spectrum A05 brush and the electric palette and I'm just going to go into the purple and the pink and I'm going to start contouring my forehead. I want to start bringing in some dimension because I'm looking a little flat everywhere except for the eyes. So because there's this line here and I want to do the contour, I'm just going to pat it in the area where I want it to be more chiseled. That way I'm placing the colour exactly where I want it to be. If you did choose to wear a wig with this, or if you want to do Easter wigs, but just make sure that you contour them because you want those extra dimensions to be in there. Next I'm going to go into the shades Hyper Ballad and Dark Wave. I'm just going to contour underneath my jaw. So we're just recreating contour, but in all the colors of, that we've mapped out on our face. And don't forget to do this ear. I'm actually gonna go in with a smaller brush and just blend that in because that brush was just too big. I just want to go in and deepen this a little bit with this smaller brush just to really accentuate those features. I'm just going to go through and sort of trace the outline of where this is meant to go just so I've got a little bit more definition. I'm just going to contour the sides of my nose. Next I'm going to go in with the Lime Crown Liquid Lipsticks. This is Utopia and Sweetberry and I'm actually going to draw on some brows. So I'm just going to put that on the back of my hand and then just do my brows like normal. The orange didn't show up as much as I wanted it to on this side. So I'm actually going to fill this in with powder. Next I'm going in with a Spectrum, this is a A06 brush and the Lime Crime Highlight Palette in Mermaids. I'm going to go in with this frosty blue here, highlight in usual spots but in the blue section obviously. I'm going to go into the purple on the purple side, taking that in the inner corner, the very top of the nose and then of course the cheekbone just connecting it up with this line here so I wouldn't only take the highlight down that far we're creating the illusion that it's multiple faces joined together so we want this highlight to join up I'm thinking maybe the orange in the opals Taking my Violet Voss Glitter Adhesive, I'm just going to pop a spot on each side and we're going to add some glitter. I'm taking the Lime Crime Zodiac Glitters, this is Libra and this is Aries. i some on my finger and whoop. I'll just dust that excess away. I can't decide between these lashes. This is Vamptress and this is Wispy My Name. These are both Violet Voss. Decide which one I'm going to wear and I'll tell you when I come back. The lashes are on and that really made such a difference. It looks so amazing right now. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the Lime Crime Velveteen in Peacock and I'm going to use that as my lipstick for today. And 
I'm just going to take what's left over on the brush that we used. Actually, I'm just going to take it on my finger just in case I want to use more of it. And I'm just going to lighten the center. And then I'm going to pop a bit of the blue in the center for a highlight. Next, I'm going to go through and actually connect the lines of where these joins off. I just want to make sure that I connect this up through my hairline. And as I mentioned, I want to make a line here. So I'm going to go in with each of the colors that I've done. So pink on pink. This is like a brush that came with the Tart Tartus clay paint, I think it is. Okay, so the circles weren't working very well for me. I worked I, I worked on the first so goddamn long, so I'm just gonna replicate this here um, and just do that all over. So of course, you know, the orange here and then pink there. And then I'm gonna work out what color I wanna put down here. Well guys, I'm happy to say that completes the final look. This is definitely the longest video I have ever filmed. This took about three and a half hours to film. I have used so many of my products. I have completely trashed my Mavita Loca palette. I am covering my shadow. I'm happy to say I'm really happy with this look. This is something that I've never done before and it really is a big venture that I've taken on. I feel like this is super fun, it's super colorful. That's what I wanted. I wanted to take something that was uh, Halloween but make it a lot more fun. It is a really cool look and um, I'm really, really enjoying all the color. Let's hope that this eyeshadow washes out of my hair. I really hope that you like this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. I worked so hard on this video so if you could show me some support that would be amazing if you like this video and you would like to see more please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified anytime i put up a video become a member of the little lux family 
I'm really pleased with how this second Halloween video turned out. Obviously, this is much, much more complex than the previous video. If you haven't seen my previous Halloween video, I will link that down below. You could definitely switch this out with any colors that you wanted. You could definitely do this all the same color and just add in the accents in the colors of your choosing. Totally, I would go ahead with a wig. I would not put eyeshadow in your hair as I have done. Thankfully it's hair washing night. <laughs> if you'd like to get to know me a little bit better, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. They are all Love Lady Lux. This was Sharon from Love Lady Lux and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.